What's up y'all, it's Timmy. And today we're gonna be checking out the Iceco 40 fridge freezer. And also we'll be testing out the Blue Eddy EB70 portable power station here and see how they work. We're gonna test them out to the max, turn this fridge freezer up as high as it'll go and see how long it lasts. So let's do it. Welcome to Truck House Lab, baby. So right here behind me, we have the Iceco 40 liter fridge freezer and we have the Blue Eddy EB70 portable power station. So today I went to push this fridge freezer to the max and do it as cold as we can go and see how cold it gets. And at the same time, I want to push this Blue Eddy EB70 as hard as it'll go and as long as it'll go and we'll see how long it lasts. First off, I want to talk about the Blue Eddy EB70. This is a 700 watt portable power station and as you can see, it's got four inputs for a 110 volt. It has a cigarette lighter 12 volt plug. It has two USB chargers that are three amps, which is pretty high. And it, uh, one really cool feature is it has these two USB-C ports and they're 100 watt charging stations, which is super powerful. It'll charge your cell phone or any USB-C device extremely fast. So that's cool. There's also a flashlight in the front right here. So that's probably won't use that too much, but it's there if you need it. It's not the smallest portable power station, but for 700 watts, it's not that big. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it does have a nice carrying handle right here to pick it up and transport it. On the top, it does have a wireless charging, so you can put your cell phone right on top and charge that wirelessly here, so that's pretty cool. To charge the EB70 up, all you need is 110 volts, so you can charge it from just a wall outlet anywhere, or you can charge the EB70 with Blue Eddy's 200 watt folding solar panel, which is really sweet. Uh, collapses up really small and uh, yeah, you can just charge it from the sun. So that's pretty cool. There's also a 12 volt car outlet charger. So you basically put it in your cigarette lighter and you can charge the Blue Eddy up while you're driving around with your car's alternator. I've had a Jackery 500 before this and it's awesome. It's only 500 watts. So I'll be curious to see how well the 700 watt performs and how long this battery lasts. So let's get to it. All right, and right here we have the Iceco 40 liter fridge freezer. This thing's pretty sturdy. Comes with two sturdy pickup handles right here, carrying handles. Um, I'm gonna check out the inside. Essentially, it has two compartments that can be turned into one real easy by removing this. And you have another smaller compartment up top. So plenty of room to keep stuff for the weekend, food cold in here and stuff frozen if you want to. And keep in mind, it's a fridge or freezer, so you have to pick which one. So to power the fridge freezer, there's an option to do either 12 volt or 110. So that's pretty sweet. You could charge this thing with your solar panel, with your car alternator, with a portable power station, or just plug it into a wall anywhere. So that's pretty cool. On top here, you have your control buttons. So there's a simple on off switch. There's a max eco. So we're gonna put it on max today and push it really hard. And you adjust your temperature right here. So really simple. So let's get the Blue Eddy and the Iceco all powered up and push it to the max and see how long it lasts. So today we're gonna use 110 volt power and really push this Blue Eddy to its max and then see how this fridge freezer does in the coldest setting trying to freeze some salmon. We're all plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and fire everything up. And we're gonna come over here and turn the fridge freezer on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's at 52 degrees right now. So we're gonna cool it down, put it on max mode. So it's on max. We're gonna cool it all the way down. As cold as it'll go. Negative eight. All right, then checking out the power draw. It looks like it's putting out 52 watts right now at the moment. So we'll see what happens here. So typically when a refrigerator or freezer first starts up, the compressor takes a lot of juice to get it going and then it'll calm down after that and use less juice. So right now we're only burning about 50 watts at startup. So that's pretty good. Let's check this thing out and see. 
So I can hear a compressor going. It's really quiet, but there is a compressor running right now. You can see it's powered up because the little blue light's on. Yeah, so set as cold as it'll go. We'll see what happens here. So what we're gonna do is throw in some Alaskan salmon that I dip netted for and see uh, if it'll keep this frozen essentially and see how long it will keep it frozen also. So let's throw that in there. All right, and then we'll come back to it in a bit. All right, looking at the time, it's 1.20 right now, so let's get to it. Let's see how long this thing lasts. So it's been 25 minutes, so let's check it in the fridge and see how it's doing. We're at 23 degrees, so it's dropped about 30 degrees in 25 minutes. And let's check our power consumption down here. It's down to 42 watts is what it's pulling right now, and plenty of juice left in the Blue Eddy, so looking good. Oh yeah, it is noticeably cooler in there. You can see the frost starting to form in the inside. All right, checking back in. It's been just shy of two hours. So let's see how the Blue Eddy's doing here. Looks like we are still over 80% charge. It's still pulling 40 watts. So still doing well here. And checking the temperature. It is seven degrees inside of this cooler. It is cold. And yeah, that's super cold. Salmon's still rock hard, it's a good sign. All right, here we are, it's about four and a half hours later. Let's check this out. Still at about 80% battery, putting out about 40 watts. The temperature is now at zero degrees, so it's super cold. Frozen rock solid. Uh, seven and a half hours later, let's see how it's doing. EB70 is at around 40% battery. The ice co is negative six degrees Fahrenheit. That is super cold. And yeah, it's super cold in here. It's like a chest freezer, rock hard salmon, still frozen. So I'm gonna check out the ice co and the Blue Eddy EB70 before I go to bed and we'll see what it's at and then hopefully it'll last overnight. So we'll see. All right, it's been nine hours and 10 minutes. Let's see how it's looking. So about nine hours and 10 minutes later, we're around 40% battery on the EB70. And the temperature is down to negative four in the freezer. And salmon's rock hard frozen. Pretty cool. Good morning, guys. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning, 10 minutes shy of seven, which means it's been seven hours plus. So this would be 18 hours later. Let's see how it's doing. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, the battery is dead. Bridge is still powered up, but pretty much not working anymore. It's on 21 degrees. And the salmon's still frozen hard though. Yeah guys, so there you have it. The Ice Co fridge was able to last about 18 hours on full bore all the way down to negative six. So in less than 18 hours, the EB70 was totally depleted, but keep in mind I was pushing it really hard. We had that fridge freezer from Iceco on negative eight degrees Fahrenheit, which is really cold. And uh, yeah, it did pretty well, I feel like. That's pretty good. So I bet if you just use the refrigerator feature, it would definitely last a long weekend and uh, keep your stuff nice and cool. So that's my review. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content like this. And also I do adventure videos and other kind of videos every week. So we'll see you next time. Peace y'all.